Hey, what do we have here? It's a Parsons pump car that came out of my grandfather's garage. That's cool. You would basically pump this to start this thing going, and you would steer with your feet. I think kids today would have an absolute blast with this. Problem is, it just looks like it would hurt a lot. Probably never be able to have children if you wreck this thing. <laughs> <gasps> It basically was a toy that we had in the garage that we would play with when we were little. And I had a great time with it. It was a lot of fun. I'm looking to sell today because my grandmother is 100 years old, and I'd like to take her out for dinner. I am a grandma's boy, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these? Yeah, these things are old. This could be 1920s right here. It, it definitely has its age. This was a luxury item. You had to be well off to get your kid something like this in the 1920s. This was probably 10, 20 bucks. $10 in 1920 was half an ounce of gold. That's amazing. Um, still in good shape, huh? Still runs. It just goes to show how well some things were built. Um, I mean, this was literally built to last 100 years. It's good old American steel, rubber tires. It's all here. It just um, needs a little TLC, and I think this thing would look pretty damn cool. Generally speaking, we've had good luck selling old pedal cars in the shop. So I have to assume this pump car would sell too. But these things are so rare, I don't even know if there's a market for them. So picking this up is somewhat of a risk. How much are you looking to get out of this thing? I was thinking about 500. It's cool, but it's not $500 cool. I'm thinking more like 300 bucks. About 400. I'll give you 350. Okay, I think that will work. I okay. think that will work, definitely. Thank All you. All right, 350, I'll meet you right over there, man. OK, great, thank you. I think I got a good deal, but it's always scary buying a rusty old toy that needs a complete restoration. Hopefully, that restoration won't eat up all my profit. It's all basically here from the looks of it. Yeah, not a bad looking piece. It just puts a thrill in me to take something rusted and then put it back into a beautiful condition that people will admire. Let's see how the mechanism works. Works pretty good. I think it would be cool. I mean, I think it would be a lot funner than a pedal car. This thing just looks like it would go fast. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure to restore it. We'll have to get the uh, new tires, do the wheels, reproduce the decal, make a handle. You're probably talking in the $400 range. OK. You know, I'm in at $350, $400 to fix it. What do you think I can get out of it? If it's done real nice and you do everything correct, 12 to 14, easily. OK. Obviously, you'll get me in the money. Yeah. All right, make it pretty. OK, we got a deal. This pump car is going to set me back $750. But I bet Bob is being modest. And with his touch, I think it'll be on the $1,400 side of things. When I see a chance to practically double my money, I'm always in. Hey, Rick, chum. Hey, how's it going? Hey, if it was going any better, I'd be twins. <laughs> hey, chum. What's going on? I brought that pump car for you. It's looking real good, too. Bring it around the back lot, and um, we'll load it, man. No problem. I'll meet you back there. I bought an old pump car from the 1920s. It needed a restoration, so my buddy Bob fixed it up. And I can't wait to see what he's done with it. So let's see it, man. Oh, you'll get a kick out of this. I got carried away with it a little bit. That is cool. That is really damn cool. See, the little things I like are the details. I did a lot of research on this. It's all period correct hardware. The decal, I found another one online, and we copied the decal from that one, because yours was pretty rough. It looks really cool. I really like it. I hope you do, because I'll tell you the truth, I fell in love with it working on it. So I think it looks really, really good. This would be a pretty cool toy for a kid to play with. Don't you wish you could get in it and ride it? Uh, I think the thing would collapse. <laughs> <laughs> so how much do I owe you? Um, we had some issues with it. The wheels were a little bit worse than, than I expected. When they built toys of metal, they never primed them, so they rusted. Well, like the government, we went way over budget. <laughs> but a lot of that's my fault, because I just got carried away. My cost on this is $578. OK, man. I'm sure you'll make it up next time. Yeah, well, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are going to be attracted to this because of the colors. It just looks so cool with those colors. They want it. I think he'll make some money on it, and that's good for him. I looked up the price on the internet. 
16. 1600 No, $16.60, <laughs> brand new in 1939. <laughs> All right. Got to figure, it's got to be worth $1,300 to $1,400. You're doing pretty good on this thing, Rick. OK, man. Come inside. I'll pay you. All right. Chum, price it, and um, get it on the floor. 578 bucks is a little over his original estimate. Then again, that's why they call it an estimate. <laughs> There's still plenty of room for profit, and this thing looks amazing.